Good afternoon, North Creek Township School District family. Thank you for joining us in the third in our series of our Stronger Together weekly videos. This week, we are excited to have our cheer coach, Dean Probonik, with us, and you'll hear why we're excited. Um, we want to encourage our families, students, student athletes, and community to join us not only each week with the videos, but to join us in this journey as we continue to be stronger together. If you're wondering why we are not wearing any masks, please know that we have taken every precaution to be six feet apart, as well as opening the windows so that we have great ventilation as we shoot this very short video. I will be talking to Coach Dina today about just her quarantine experience with our amazing cheer squad and the best practices um, around cheering that followed the pandemic. Um, I'll also be following up with the, the pandemic coordinator, Crystal Krausick, this week on the importance of a number of things that have been on your minds. One, flu shot vaccine, as well as some common misconceptions over the flu and as it relates to COVID. Coach Dina, thank you for joining us today in our Stronger Together video series. Um, although this cheer season is different from the cheer season that you've experienced in previous years, and certainly for very obvious reasons, your athletes have remained so positive and optimistic during this time, thanks to you. What were some of the things that you have done and how have you managed to keep them so positive? You know, at the beginning of every practice, we always try to remember that regardless of what situations are being thrown at us this year, we need to try to make them as normal as possible and we need to take everything with, with grace. We need to be flexible. We need to understand that anything can change in a moment. So we just take every day, one day at a time, and we try to make the best of it. Thank you, thank you. One of the things we've been talking a lot about is the necessity for us to be creative and innovative during this time. And you certainly epitomize what it means to be creative. We mm -hmm. saw where you and your team have actually had virtual tryouts. Um, yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Virtual tryout, that was fun. Uh, this was a first for us. So um, what we did is we formed, a, we did a Google form and everybody filled out their Google form. We joined this thing called Band. It's, a, it's, a, it's an app where you can share videos and, conversations about everything so everybody would join this app I uploaded videos I would give them information on what they needed to do and we tried to make the tryout process once again as normal as possible for them we gave them the same material they would use if they tried out in person uh, we gave them a special time slot to come in for their zoom and we also had to understand that being in front of a zoom on your own with coaches watching you is incredibly difficult so we would let them try again if they made a mistake and you know it's, it was a different experience, but it def we definitely made the best of it and we made it work. Thank you for that. And just the idea and the thought of giving students multiple opportunities in case they made a mistake for them to try it again really amplifies one of the things we've been talking about in the tenets we have in the district, and that is the importance of granting grace and empathy during this time. So very important. Mm -hmm. um, I know if you travel throughout any of our school buildings, you are likely to see our three W's. Um, it's somewhere around here. And the three W's actually speaks to our guidance around managing and successfully navigating COVID in the pandemic. Wear your mask, wash your hands, wash your distance. Um, how have you been sort of sharing this information with your cheer cheerleaders? Well, coming from a medical background, I am very aware of the three W's and we are on them all the time. You come into the building, you wear your mask. You go to the bathroom, you wear your mask. If you are not actively engaged in your sport, you wear your mask. Um, you do hand sanitizer as soon as you walk in. You go to the bathroom, you wash your hands. And, you know, they're kids. We have to remind them. But, you know, we always, always, always make sure that we're keeping them as safe as possible in practice. And I also talk to them a lot about it's more than just practicing yourself. You also have to go home and practice these things as well. You have to ask yourself, is going to this gathering necessary at this point? Should I expose myself to other situations where I can be exposing my teammates? And not only my teammates, we have football players on our team. We have volleyball players on our team. We also have athletes that live with elders. We have athletes that have um, medical conditions that could pop, you know, possibly make them more at risk. So I always remind them, think about those things. Do you want to put your team at risk? Do you want to put those family members at risk? Do you want to put football at risk? volleyball at risk. It's this whole chain reaction that we need to be aware of. So stay at home, stay with your close-knit group of friends, hang out with the cheerleaders, hang out with people instead of exposing
exposing yourself to situations where you could bring something else in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You could not have said it better. So the fact that here you are coaching this amazing nationally ranked cheering squad, but because we're not getting a pandemic, you constantly reminding them about why it's important for them to be selfless as they're practicing the three W's, considering their family, their friends, and it's a big way for us to remain in school as well as to remain playing. So thank you so much for the reminders and thank you for being such an inspiration thank for our cheer you. squad. Much appreciated. At this time, we're gonna to pivot to our pandemic coordinator, Ms. Crystal Crosby. Just a million thanks to Coach Dina for the work that she's doing leading our cheerleaders, uh, making sure that they are remaining compliant and supporting our three levels during the pandemic. Now, definitely want to turn our attention to our dynamic pandemic coordinator, Crystal Cross. Crystal, welcome this Friday to our Stronger Together video series. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about is the importance of the flu shot. And I really want everyone to know that I even made that special trip down to Tracy Elementary School this year to get my flu shot. Um, why is it important? And tell us a little bit about the flu shot. Thank you, Dr. Roberts. So, um, annual seasonal flu shots are the best way to help protect yourself currently against the flu. And while we don't have a COVID-19 vaccine, the seasonal flu vaccine protects against the influenza viruses that research has shown will most likely be upcoming for this flu season and can reduce your severity of illness that you get. So we really want to encourage our families, students, and students as well to take this preventative measure, especially this year. Crystal, as more information continues to be shared with us through the news by the CDC, um, not only about COVID-19 symptoms, but also about contact tracing. Many questions have come up for us over and over again, even at our town halls. What does it mean to be contact traced? Can you tell us a little bit about what contact tracing means? That's a great question, Dr. Yeah. Roberts. So the CDC has um, put out some different guidance this past week. However, um, we will still remain collaborating with the Erie County Department of Health, who at this time has not changed their guidance. Um, we know within MTSD that we currently have had no confirmed classroom okay. transmission to date. So we will continue to follow the guidance with Erie County Department of Health of within six feet for 15 minutes or greater for close contact. Crystal, thank you again for being here. So one of the questions that we have fielded over and over again is with regards to the numbers of positive cases. And there is this belief, or I would say misconception, that maybe some of the cases have actually occurred in one of our buildings here in the Free Township School District. Can you tell the parents and community uh, why that is not true? Sure. So we continue to look at our big picture of our cases, but through contact tracing, we can confirm that to date there are no transmission within our classrooms and or our buildings which is really a success to all of our buildings and all of our staff and students in our mitigation efforts. Thank you. So I think speaking to that, this is real gratitude that has to go out to our principals, our assistant principals, our teachers, certainly our custodial staff. The mitigation efforts, they are working and definitely to our students. And so people have asked and will continue to ask, what evidence do you have that tells you that the positive cases were as a result of unsanctioned MTSD events and not actually in the school buildings? So for us, our contact tracing, um, through that is how we know whether or not those um, are traced back to school, school events, and or um, these events that are happening outside of school, which truly ties back to our Stronger Together message and why um, we need to really follow the three W's when we're at school, on the field, and at home. Thank you so much, Crystal. Parents and community, because you are partnering with us and are stronger to get an effort, it's one of the reasons that our mitigation opportunities are really positive. Parents, community members, we want to thank our pandemic coordinator, Crystal Crosby, for being here with us. But more importantly, we want to thank you for your continued efforts and partnership with us as we do exactly what has to be done for us to be stronger together. And one way that we can do that is by continuing to follow and adhere to our three W's. Wash your distance, wash your hands, and remember of utmost importance, please wear your mask. Thank you.